Learning Fund is really vital um, to some of our children in the community who are very vulnerable. Without the Early Learning Fund, they would not be accessing any sort of um, early education and care or kindergarten program. Um, our pre-kindy group is a really vital age. It's the age where we can really start to notice a lot more around our developmental milestones and goal setting. We can really detect those early intervention um, support needs that are needed. My daughter Layla, she's three, attends junior kindy at Good Start Early Learning. She is cheeky, um, she loves learning, loves exploring, loves meeting new people. She, she's the reason I get out of bed every day. So the last 12 months have been really hard for not just myself but for Layla. It's, it's been an adjustment. Um, unfortunately due to COVID, Layla's dad and I both lost our jobs. It's, it's do I pay for childcare today or do we eat tomorrow? And that's, that's how hard it has become. We get her ready of the morning to come to school and I would dread coming to school because, you know, we'd get the email the night before saying that fees are due and I'd, I'd walk through the door in shame. I said, Joe, I have some really great news I want to share with you and she just started crying. Um, before I could even get it out, I said, you know, the Early Learning Fund has been approved for you, so this is what it means. Um, it's going to start straight away. We're going to be, it's going to backdate. Um, and what that meant for her financially. Honestly, a godsend because it was right in that moment that we hit rock bottom, I think. Courtesy of having the early learning, Layla has come in leaps and bounds in just such a short period of time. Um, you know, when she first started, she was really shy and really withdrawn and had some developmental concerns. What makes me most proud of Layla during this year, um, she's just grown so much, like she's, her toilet training, her language skills, her emotional skills, all of her developmental skills have all come a long way since she started. So it's been really great having Layla um, with us more days, particularly because we've been able to give her a really consistent, predictable routine, which has been able to see her thrive in that position. It's really nice to see her find her confidence and become a little bit of a leader in the room and really navigate those transitions along with her peers and that support that she's now received She's actually giving that back to her children, to her peers as well. Without the Early Learning Fund, I honestly don't know where we'd be. Knowing that we, we could access the Early Learning Fund, knowing that the daycare you know, brought it to our attention because that they could see that we were struggling, it really gave us that, you know, that sense that we're not alone, that there are people out there who care, not just for me, but for my child. I know I'm not the only Mum, I'm not the only parent that in the last 12 months has worried about when they're going to be able to pay their fees and when they're going to be able to put food on the table again. Children shouldn't have to go through that at all. You know, they deserve the right to go to school and they deserve the right to an education and without this fund, some kids are going to miss out terribly.